Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my monthly favorites video. We are going to be discussing everything I was loving in the month of April. If you hear some background noises, I'm sorry, there's actually people in my living room right now eating Chinese food and watching a basketball game, but I had to pause and come film a video. Just because I didn't have a video up on Friday, which I'm very, very sorry, but I got the stomach virus. And turns out there's like a bug going around because when I went to urgent care, the nurse was like, man, five people have come in because they have a stomach virus. But I'm feeling so much better. Thank you to everyone who was tweeting me to get well soon, everybody who was telling me on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it. I'm doing much better, it was kind of like a 48 hour thing. But today I was like, you know what, I'm gonna film, I'm gonna take off my super chipped nail polish and I'm just gonna sit down and film. Let's get into the products I've been loving. So my first favorite, I totally feel like some of you guys saw this coming, but I have been obsessed, obsessed with the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. I don't think they make any other shade, but this is called Sweet Tea. It's their Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer, and I freaking, freaking love this. This is pretty much the only bronzer I've been using since I got it. I got this bronzer in the mail, which I've been dying to try too. This is the Beach Bronzer from Urban Decay, but I've just been loving this so much that I just don't use anything else. I love it because it has kind of like a shimmery cool tone bronzer and then kind of like a shimmery warm bronzer here on this side. And when you mix them together, you get such a beautiful neutral bronze glow. And you can kind of mix it together or dip into either one. It's stunning, especially for spring and summer. It gives your face a natural glow. I'm wearing it today, I only used a little bit, but I just love how this makes my skin look. The only thing is it is kind of bulky and it's not like in a compact, you know, it doesn't have a mirror. But the product is so good, I look past it. My next favorite is an eyeshadow that I didn't think I was gonna love as much as I do. This is from ColourPop and it's one of their new colors for spring. It's in the shade Waddles. I love this color. My favorite ColourPop eyeshadows are the ones that have like a super pearly finish or a very metallic or a glittery finish. I like their satins and mattes as well, but not as much as the intense one. This is a satin. This is the only eyeshadow I'm wearing on my eyes today. I do have NARS Hot Sand as my highlight on my brow bone and in my inner corners, but on my lid and in my crease, this is the only thing I have right now. And it's amazing. It's the perfect dusty rose shade. I have a whole tutorial where this is the main focus. I will link it down below. It's so pretty for this time of year because it's so, it's like pink and rosy, but it has a dustiness to it. It's so pretty. It has like a very slight sheen to it, which makes it so stunning on the lid. And my favorite thing about this is you could pack this on the lid and then you could slowly bring it into the crease and it kind of makes like a softer peachy effect when you use very little of it. Kind of looks like I have a different color in my crease, but I don't. It's just this with a light hand. Love this eyeshadow. I have been using it to death. So I can't tell you how often I use a product for the first time and I don't like it, but then the more I use it, the more I start liking it and then I end up loving it. And that happened with this product. The first time I used this, I did not like it. This is the Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade Light. I've heard so many people talk about Glossier that I placed an order online and I have been slowly using every single thing I ordered. I even talked about the Balm.com in my last favorites video. This wasn't my favorite. The first time I used it, I was like, wow, this is a very emollient concealer. It's just a little bit too dewy, so it kind of threw me off. But the more I started to use this, the more I fell in love with it. And now, the things I hated about it are the reasons why I love it so much. If you have very dry skin, this is going to be your best friend. It's a pot concealer that isn't drying. It's, I don't know if you could tell in the pot, like it even looks dewy. It's a beautiful dewy concealer. I use this underneath my eyes and on my entire face. Like I use this on my no makeup makeup days. Whenever I don't want to wear foundation, I have just like warmed it up on my finger. I rub my finger in there, I've, obviously I wash my hands really well. Then I put my finger in there, and then I start dabbing it underneath my eyes, on my lids, in between my eyebrows, around my mouth, wherever I have like redness, and then I'll just blend it in, and it looks so fresh and natural, and just like if your skin is naturally like that. I don't know, I feel like this is magic concealer for dry skin. Even when you set it, it still looks beautiful, but you do have to set this. This is a concealer that you have to set right away because if not, it will crease underneath the eyes because it is so emollient. It's not greasy or tacky or gross. It's just beautiful for those of you with dry skin. I highly recommend it. A blush I have fallen in love with. I didn't even know they made this one until I saw it the other day. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Apricot in the middle. I've had this formula for a long time, but I'm pretty sure this is a new color. And wow, I think it's my favorite color that they have. This formula is amazing. If you've never tried the Color Icon Blushes from Wet n Wild, where have you been? They're amazing. They're like three bucks and they're so pigmented. You really do have to use a light hand 
because they're very pigmented. This one I find that you don't have to use that much of a light hand. I'm wearing this blush today. And my favorite way to apply this is with like a little stippling brush like this. This is the Sigma F15. And I just like dust this on my cheeks. This color gives the prettiest peachy golden glow. And it's another one of those products that looks beautiful when I'm really fair and when I'm tan as well. And even though it looks like it has like glitter in it, it doesn't come off chunky on the skin. It just looks like a beautiful sheen. I love this blush. Okay, so now I quickly want to talk about a couple of lip products. Of course, I have to give a shout out to the new Ofra Liquid Lipsticks in collaboration with Manny. I love these shades, they're beautiful. I think Manny did a great job on the color selection. My favorite one is definitely Hypno. So up my street, I love this color. This color is everything, like everything. And Ofra came out with new packaging for their liquid lipsticks. I love them, they look so high class, like so elegant and very fancy and they're very like they're weighted beautiful 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 like packaging update i think it's awesome i love these colors congratulations manny they are beautiful i'm into these like rosy tones love it i'm actually wearing um jeffree star gemini on my lips right now another favorite so beautiful such a beautiful color another lip product that's in the rosy tone family you guys need this lip liner in your life you need to go to walgreens on your next off day and find this lip liner I love it. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in the shade Sugar Bronze. For some reason, I had never seen this color before. And I was looking at the Jordana section the other day and I picked it up and I'm so glad I did. I'm wearing this lip liner underneath Gemini. This lip liner is special though because it's not like a flat matte color. It's a rosy brown shade, but it has a little bit of dimension, not glitter or a shimmer or anything, but it has a little bit of something. I don't know how to explain it. On the lips, especially alone, like if you wear this lip liner by itself, it looks so pretty. It looks like it has like dimension to it. I don't know how to explain it. It does look sugary and bronzy. It's beautiful. It's not metallic by any means, but I love the undertone in this. It looks beautiful under so many nudes, so many browns, so many like dusty colors. You need this in your life. Okay, so we are almost done. I'm gonna talk about another Wet n Wild product because this is limited edition, and even though I've only been loving it for like about two weeks, you need it. You need it. It's beautiful. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. They also have another one that's pinkier and a little bit deeper, like more bronzy for deeper skin tones. It's also really beautiful too, but it's more like a blush topper on me. This one is more highlighty on me. I will say it looks better on me when I have a tan. When I'm a bit more fair, it kind of looks a little bit too dark, but it still looks pretty either way. Wet and Wild, you have stepped it up. Look at this like beautiful pattern. It has like a tropical flower in it. This reminds me of a high-end highlight. It's so smooth, it's so buttery, creamy. I don't know why it's limited edition. They need to make this permanent because it is a flawless highlight. This is like one giant step for drugstore in my opinion when it comes to highlight because it's just so smooth and pretty. I'm wearing it on my face right now and it just gives you a natural golden goddessy glow. Run to your local Walgreens, try to find this. I also hear a lot of people have been finding it at Rite Aid. If you have a Rite Aid near you, you need to go get this. It's limited edition, so try to get it while you can. Okay, I wanna talk about a nail polish, even though I'm not wearing any nail polish right now. This is Essie's Virgin Snow. I bought this at Walgreens. I don't know if this is a new color or what, but it was just sitting there and it was like calling my name and I decided to buy it and I'm so glad I did. This color is unique for some reason. I always get shades that look kind of similar to this, but this one stands out among the rest. I have a lot of nail polish, so I don't really like to paint my nails the same color twice. I try to utilize everything in my collection. But when I was taking this nail polish off, I was like, oh my god, all I want to do is put this color back on. I even got my mom one because when she saw my nails, she was like, oh my god, I love that color. So I bought her one. She's been loving it. And it's crazy because Essie's not my favorite formula. Essie chips on me really easily, but... I accept it for this color because it's amazing. Okay, two more products. I have been using this a lot on my hair recently and I feel like it's made such a difference. This is the Bamboo Shine Luminous Shine Mist by the brand Alterna. It's just basically that, a shine spray, but what I love about this shine spray is that it doesn't shoot out in like a squirty motion. You get like a very fine mist and it makes your hair look so shiny. It like coats your hair evenly. It doesn't make it look greasy in one little spot. And it just makes your hair look so healthy and so shiny. Well, and a lot of you guys have been complimenting how shiny my hair has been looking. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with the shine mist. Not only does it look shiny, but it makes my hair a little bit softer as well. I've been loving this. I bought this at Sephora. 
And it just makes my hair have a little bit of a glossy look without making it greasy or like weighing it down. Okay, and then the last product is something that ever since I hauled it, you guys have been asking me like every day, like, so did you like it? Did you like it? Tell me, tell me, tell me all about it. This is the Foreo Luna 2. This is the one for sensitive skin. And you're thinking right now, obviously, if it's in a favorites video, it must be a favorite. No, it's not a favorite. It's a freaking favorite. At first, I was super hesitant to buy it because it's such a pricey product forever. And I didn't think this was necessary, but oh my gosh, for those of you who don't know what this is, I bought this at Sephora during the VIB sale. And you basically, it's something you use to wash your face, very similar to the Clarisonic, only not similar at all, but you know what I mean, it's a tool to wash your face. And it gives you instructions when you buy it, but you have like a plus sign and a negative sign here to kind of control like how strongly you want it to vibrate, because it does vibrate when you press this button. Can't you hear that? It's vibrating. And then you start to massage it in your face, obviously with the face wash, and then it kind of pulsates so you can switch cheeks. Like you'll start here, it pulsates, you'll switch your cheek, do it for a little while, it pulsates, and you do like your forehead and stuff like that. And I haven't been a huge fan of the Clarisonic. I feel like it's a little bit too abrasive for me. And I thought this was such a gimmick. The first time I used this, guys, I wish I would have gotten it on camera. When I touched my face, I felt like I was touching a Cabbage Patch Kid. I'm like, oh my god. I don't know how to explain the feeling, but it felt like it was perfectly clean, soft skin. Like nothing was in my pores. It was just perfectly smooth and baby soft. I've been using this nonstop every single day. I don't know if it's improved my skin in other areas, but in the texture, like the way my skin feels, I feel like it has improved that a lot. I did buy a dupe on Amazon. I think it's called the Solo Meal or something like that. I'm actually gonna start using that one for about a month. And then I'm gonna do a whole video to see if this is worth it or if the dupe is just as good. But you do have to give me like a month to use that one because I wanna give that one a fair shot as well. For those of you who have been asking me if I love this, I do, I personally love this. This has really helped my skin. And it hasn't irritated my skin. I guess it's because I bought the one for sensitive skin. I love this thing, I do, I'm sorry. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These were products that I really, really loved in April. Leave me a comment down below what your favorite product in the month of April was, and maybe I'll check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. It is the sh... Mm -hmm. It is... Slow down, they don't love you like I love you. And I have been using everything I got. And I have been using everything I got. I've... Yeah. My favorite one, 100%, is depen definitely... <laughs> He had a little pet bunny, it was white, we would play with the bunny, it would like go inside his shirt, we would laugh about it, we were great friends.